Hello everyone, Grandmaster Varakobian here with 1000 GM. I'm here with my student Jonathan Maktik, and we're looking at the Super Swiss event with 42 players in Los Angeles. Let's take a look at this game. And we have CM Brian C against FM Nico Chasen. D4, Knight F6. Knight F3, G6. Bishop F4, Bishop G7. Three castles. Bishop B2, D6. Now h3 is played, this move is very important, so the bishop can return back on h2, and also g4 square is under control. Knight c6, castles, e5. He takes, knight to e4. Bishop h2. The, you can never take on d6 in these positions, because then you're going to get into trouble on bishop b2. Okay, so that's why you have to go back here. Now black takes. Knight bd2 developing. 96. Since black is trying to play for a win, it makes sense to keep more pieces on the board. And from the clock situation, you can tell. Looks like black probably analyzed this because playing the moves pretty quickly. One minute, one one hour for Brian, and Nico still has one hour and 31, 32 minutes. Knight c4 again, trying to trade and simplify the position. Now uh, I like the idea of trading the knights. Now bishop c4 comes in. The idea is to try to uh, stop the move d5. Bishop f5, rook e1, rook c8, e4, bishop e6 takes. Ooh. E4 looks fine here. Here I was thinking maybe even just to play the move bishop b3. So if there is a capture, I can take back with the a pawn. And if let's say rook fd1, I can play the move c3. I kind of like this position, it's very, very solid. I'm not happy with my bishop on h2, but later on maybe I can try to play like king king h1, bishop g1, move the knight and f3, you know, to bring him into the game, like a long-term plan. But at least for now you're controlling d5, there is no ideas. So it goes here, c3. Uh, but in the game, something else happened here. He took a now queen e6, is is a normal move here with idea rook f d eight and d five, but he played f takes d six. D five. Queen d three. Now putting pressure on uh, b five. There is a pressure on d six as well, and it goes here. C four. Now white is a little bit better here. Knight f five p three. Rook a d1, rook c6, queen d2. a5, rook e2. And now knight e1 is coming up. Idea knight e1, king here, f3. Knight d3, c5. Um, I would wait a little bit on this break. I would probably consider just defending this and then getting the move f3 king over and bring the bishop to g1 before we try to do any kind of breaks here because we want to make sure the bishop is in the game. But I can also understand the move c5. The idea is to try to get a dark school bishop into the game. But looks like it doesn't quite work very well. Takes. Oh, and then we have a blunder here. Knight takes c5, blunder. The best move is bishop e5 and is maintaining the equality. Okay. Rook d8, bishop g7, queen g7, queen c2 more or less equal position. Ready to go with the knight. Take. Oh, he's trying to win exchange here, but now knight c4 comes oh, in. Oh, no. Back in the queen. I think he missed this move. Yeah. Take. Has to go there. And now, uh, if now take, he's going to, yeah, the pawn's going to push. And a1 queen is very, very bad. Yeah, use a rook. So wow, eight, good tactic. Eight, and now b3. Continuing to push. And now this is just a, a rook e4 apparently just winning the game on the spot with the idea to take here. And if you take on c5, just trade and take on a2. Yeah. This is this is also winning. Yeah. Um bishop e6. Actually, yeah, if you give a check, simply rook goes back on f8 attacking by the time you take it. You get checkmated. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So basically, Black just 
played queen e3 and won the game. That's a mating attack coming up. See how quickly things uh, they flip so got quick. Worse for white, you know, white just played this move yeah. c5. You know, position was kind of fine, blocked up and balanced. He should have just played rook b1. It's actually a little bit better for white, you know, because this bishop is kind of blocked in, and then you can play f3, king over, bishop c1, and you, you, you know, you might be a little bit better. You have chances to win, and he plays c5, and now things, things became really tricky after this. And here, he knight e5 was just a blunder. Bishop e5 would have been the move. Yeah. To keep the equality, okay? So, Makes sense. Yeah, so you just have to be precise. Make sure you don't make those inaccuracies. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll be back with more videos for you in this, from this event.